We made it to day two. That means we're officially upload must <laughs> it's in Pros. full swing number two who knew um this is crookern so it would be technically a another small yeovil village following on from the last video which would make perfect sense seeing as we they come after each other see so we're in the same place oh, i'm with you at the area she's a butte clark right what i'm gonna say about this one and why i left it in is it isn't a brand in fact it is so not a brand that it hurts my feelings however um corduroy is hot and so is that still a short chore style jacket as we keep yeah. mentioning to people and i just wanted to point out that if you probably picked that up and put it on ebay or even vinted then you would probably make a lovely profit just off of the fact based on the fact of the item it's corduroy it's style and like okay it might not set the world alight but you could make what 20 25 quid yeah i think you have to seasonally although i don't shop seasonally or buy seasonally i think people do um so think of you know i say it's easy tip walls think of winter yeah, weather yeah, I mean, yeah. you know so and that doesn't mean like a big coat that means you know you know things that reminisce to the seasonal months anyway this is paulie ka paulie ka that's the logo paulie ka um i think ka ka ka, ka. ka. he does really well um if you pick up the right item, uh, that was a basic grey tailor jacket, which lights no fires in my soul. The last piece of probably ka or ka we had was they were funky pants. Were they they were like uh, trousers that reminded me of a watercolour palette. They were very they were, like moschino -y. Yeah, you go for the wild things, I would, and you're going to do well. Um, I know people that... Um, do well. Uh, do well with them and people that don't do well with them. And I think it is uh, item-based and pricing-based. I think I think a lot of what resellers do is kind of variable on the person as well. Yes. Like there are some things we we, um, we we tend to say, oh, we don't really do well, well, very well with that. However, maybe some other people do. And there might be 10 reasons. Yeah. But I think if you, you you start very quickly as, as a reseller kind of know to you kind of become savvy to what does sell for you and what does, what yes. doesn't. You know what I mean? And even, even that can change with time as well. But also things you're passionate about. If you like, if for me, that's a grey jacket. So yeah, I'm going to like list it as a grey jacket with a tailoring. Even your tone, it changes when you yeah, talk about it. You know what I mean? You know, it, it's, it's, not, it's not fun to you. This here is a selfish mother jumper. If you are local to the Somerset area, then you probably will know selfish mother. She's now located in Bruton. Um, however, she makes sort of these jumpers that say mama and stuff like that. There is a cult or following Dada for them or... so they go for about 25 20 to 25 um but it, if you pick them up that's two pound 2.99 they go very fast so they don't have uh, a label they have like that stamped kind of like logo in they used to have a label they've changed they've changed that's over a newer the years piece, yeah. that is a newer piece and obviously some of the discontinued sort of slogans etc go for a little bit more depending um these are some shoes these are some l1 loke 6.99 for anyone who wants to know so for anyone who does want to know that one of the main differences from l1s or uh well, they are, they're known as L1s, um, Lokes, in comparison to kind of your regular Lokes, is that these are actually made in India. Made in India. Did you know that? Um, I call them ready-to-wear Lokes. Yeah. So they're sort of like off the peg, off the rack. That is a screenshot from the Loke website of L1s. So they range from about 180 to 200, which I understand is a lot of money for a Loke. Um, I pulled a comp for £100. They're a bit more exciting than the black ones. Um, but I would expect to get between 50 and 70 based on condition and style. Yeah. Um, they're just a bit more... Um, Generic? Generic, I would have said average. It's sort of just like the ones you see in department stores. But great money, nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, as opposed to a low, a low actual kind of... Shoe, shoe shop. Yeah, and when, when you... Actual fact, I'm sorry to interrupt sorry. you, but one of, our, one of our subscribers and someone we met who was very, very nice... Oh, yeah! He actually works for... Oh, and in a actually, lovely shop. take don't, that don't back. Give, don't give the exact... Uh, All the information the I probably said was wrong. So look, he's I know he's gonna comment down below about L1 Lokes. They us. are made in India. Am I correct? Take, Please comment below. Take it away, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> um anyway, um yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's proper nice Loke shop. Anyway, um this is a hat. I'm being very matter of fact in this video. Can you tell? Jean Paul Gaudier. It's day two and I've lost the will. So, so by day three, but honestly, day, day eight, by day 18, like, it's worth a watch just to see what state we're in. You have to think as well, the people making these videos, the editing and um, just the effort to get one out every day is I'm, hardcore. I'm going to go on record and say anyone who's put uh, any effort into videos uh, f for the next kind of like 25, 30 days, 
like fair play to you. Like and my heart goes out to you because even the editing, like it's just graft. So well done you. Anyone putting videos out or content out or your Instagram or YouTube, like well done because it's, it is, it's not easy. These are rotate by Berger Christians and they sell them on my Teresa. They sell them on not net supporter. And um, we did find out when we got home, pay five pound that these are brand new with the tags. Who knew? Um, but I've out. done some screenshots there or like a little swivy swiv of the website and dresses go from three thirty, and then obviously they have their ready to wear which is a bit less it starts at about 120 i think i prefer the wildest stuff with but this. these are like patent pv trousers Strapped. they remind me of like an 80s hammer p.s that uh, jean paul gautier hat uh, beanie um is a full price beanie um it, they did they did multiple styles of this kind of hat some were given away free with um uh, aftershaves and perfumes and some weren't this is one which wasn't it's actually full price i think i showed the label earlier um and this was two pounds or one pound fifty one of the two two pounds um and they go for about a hundred for that um style because it is it's, it's not like a couture piece or anything no. like that but even the perfume a free perfume hats they, um, they, they can do like 25 30 oh some go up to 50 in pink sold or sold my friend okay i take it back i retract my previous statement um and those trousers as well i have listed for 150 new tags um retail would have been about 200 so that would that's about right you know this, this is a very interesting one so this is a burberry burberry's or is it folks <laughs> you, sound wow. like, you sound like an 80s game show host. hi <laughs> is this burberry or is it not <laughs> For your chance to win, nothing. Send answers on a postcard. This is a um, vintage... Coat. Um, it's just a coat. It's a but, coat with a label. But this is really annoying because it has, as I'm looking now, most people who have uh, uh, found or um, dealt with Burberry coats specifically, if you can see, I, I don't know if I hold it up close enough, the label is um, faded, 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 which those Burberry labels never fade. I, I, they're, like, they're made of like plutonium or something. I don't even know what that is. But like they're made, they're made of good stuff. Made to last. They're made to last. And also, any Burberry coat, even if they've had the, the label, the lining, and once again, there were no like traits this was just a coat. Um, they will always be. Um, they will always have pocket details inside. They'll, ha as in, they will have details. And trust me, there's not a Burberry factory in the world which you've put, which would have put that label you just saw. Ugh, that looked dirty. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this was whether someone had stitched a label on or whether it was just a fake in general. Either way, the sad thing was it was a really heavy, nice coat. Um, but once again. Fake nonetheless, um, and it was for thirty pounds. So once again, I guess they didn't know. They just for a nice old. quality coat, though. Yeah. Nice quality vintage coat. Thirty pounds is sort of a regular price now in See? in a um, a chaser. Um, however, um, don't use that word. <laughs> sorry. Um, however, um, yeah, this is non authentic and. But just just things like the chain, the buttons. Um, they, they, you got to remember these coats. Even when they were the vintage ones, they were like they were they were made to not only a high quality, but they they were proud of the brand. There was like I was trying to show um, on the metal work. They were like weird shapes, um, <laughs> but um, they were proud of the brand. There were labels everywhere. They, like if you've ever seen the Mac labels, you can find like twenty of them inside pockets and stuff. And on top of that, I'm just showing Bethany um, for the jazz of it. Um, but even the buttons, the button edges. Even if you can't see it on the face of the button, you'll you'll find the edge of the button is stamped. Or there were so many different things. It just wasn't made like anything Burberry ever made. But it's interesting. We enjoy looking at things like this because we're um, self-confessed fashion freaks. Freaks. Um, and we, I, I like look. I like seeing things that. You no, know, I do have too. interest to them. Um, <laughs> I would rather find something like that and have, actually have a look at it than just go through like bomb, yeah. Bomb, what is it, bomb, bomb but I think it's like you're looking at the like the like the stitching. I when I say looking at the stitching, I don't just mean if the stitching straight. I mean uh, like the like sometimes it, they use the quality of like um, thread, etc. The color of the thread it will match the coat, obviously, etc. Um, uh, logoing on buttons. I mean, it isn't the be all and end all, and it isn't the same rule with every piece. Like if it doesn't have have um if it doesn't have branding then i wouldn't worry does no. that make sense no what you're saying is yes you can find ones with maybe the, the buttons aren't no good or there is missing this but to find all those things missing on one jacket yes it points to one thing this shop i can't stand right i'm gonna say it if you if you watch this and you're the manager of the shop i'm really sorry i'm more, more Jeez, than happy Louise. to work with you to make this shop better you're that good are you <laughs> I, I just I don't know what it is about it. Is this an RSPCA? I told you RSPCAs are done normally very good, mm. and on the last video it was really good. The RSPCA. True story. This is a this is a Ralph Lauren um, 
polo um, shirt. How It's not a polo shirt, it's Polo by Ralph Lauren shirt. It's a short sleeve shirt with a pocket. It has no logo, which once again is less desirable. However, it is an X, is a 3XB, which means three extra large, big. Uh, they do big and big and tall. And you can have either. So you can have a big label, which is XB. XB. You can have an XT, which is a tall. And you can have an X... Uh, TB. A, uh, T, uh, XB... XT, yeah, TB, sorry. <laughs> big, no, B, BT, big and tall. Big and anyway, tall. Anyway, so you can have a mixture of the both, which obviously tall is long, big is wide and long. But we don't get a lot here, do we, in this country? We don't, and that's actually one reason I was showing you. If you see these, pick them up, because they do make good money. I, well, all I would say is, and the reason I didn't pick that one up particularly, is there was no logo on the outside. And I would say, as much as it's a great shirt... Oh, it's just not a quick turnaround without a bit of a logo, you know? This is House of Blonde. I, we got really excited about this uh, initially. Um, if anyone who knows, uh, Henry Holland is a designer. and he British has designer. Yeah, he has H by Holland, which they used to sell in Debenhams. I don't know why they sell it now. And then they have House of Holland. Um, this, unfortunately, this bag... Unfortunately or unfortunately, uh, it's sold on ASOS Outlet. So the original top price is 125. The outlet price is 50. This was six pound fifty. So there isn't enough in it for us for a used bag. You have no. to keep in mind that's fifty pound for a new bag. And it was used to be fair. However, House of Holland is an extremely high end brand, and if you can find any of his runway clothing or any of the ready to wear from House of Holland, not H by Holland, then it is well worth picking up. Unfortunately, he did do a line of bags. So it seems an accessories that were more, uh, what should I say, readily available. So yeah. uh, more mass produced, if you will, to a degree. And to be quite frank, there's a reason this bag, not that a hundred pound bag is cheap, but there's a reason this bag is a hundred pounds and then went to fifty pounds in the sale. Yes, you know what I mean. They are, they are once again, they are with all due respect, mass produced. They're great bags. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm not saying there is. What I'm saying is, don't expect to pick this up for six pounds and sell it for like. 300. I mean, you, you, you can't, it is good. There's a good profit margin for us personally. We deal in handbags. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, so. For for us to list this and sell it, I would like to have um, cleaned it, um, you know, done the all the sprucing. You've, you've got to make yeah. your money back The margin's for it, which we not there. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm trying to I, say. I think a lot of people, I, I, we had a message actually last week um, and someone mentioned like we said something like that like well, they, 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 it would be like 30 or 40 quid profit for like yeah. under fiver and they were like but you, you didn't do it and sometimes it, it might we might not say because I suppose we just being us being stupid we take it for granted that people would maybe think that there was cleaning involved but for example that bag needed a full overhaul in my yeah. opinion so by the time I've done that and spent two or three hours it's not as simple as time is money you know, it people is, yeah. time is money or I can put that into something I literally have to steam put on and it's gone you know Yeah. so it, it, it just depends so please when you when you when we when, when you listening to what we're saying, sometimes maybe think about how we're saying it, why we're saying and it. How, how you and if you have any questions, just ask. And how you can apply it to your business because our business is different to yours, and our business is different to anyone else's. Like everyone's different, and it's taking little bits of information from different people and sort of applying it to you, how you do it. This is a suit by the fold. The fold people, I love the fold. Remember Look at the this fold. Suit. Remember the fold. Double breasted. I think it's giving seventies vibes. It's giving Gorgeous. like smoking lounge. Um, they're well known for their tailoring I know Kate Middleton's been known to wear a few of the dresses um, these were new with tags price wise what are we talking so right let's get into it so these are the Hamilton trousers the jacket was 25 and then the trousers were priced separately I didn't clock how much the trousers were so when you're looking at it like that there is money to be made so it is an expensive brand used the trousers are sold for about 100 okay used these are obviously newer tags so you're going to get margin more for it but and then obviously the jacket as well i would have put up for about 150 to 200 okay um so you it is a lot to outlay and um don't be afraid of when trash shops or any places you go to, if you shop in dress agencies, etc., um, do uh, have a higher inflated price point. Um, just break it down, work out how much you can get out of it and whether it's worth your time, the turnover speed, um, whether you want that piece in your store. I mean, sometimes you might want to take a lower margin um, of profit because you want, obviously, to have a store decked full of Chanel and of uh, Louis Vuitton. So you obviously that's in a way, a marketing uh, yeah, expense. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, so, yeah, you have to work out whether it works for your business plan and how you like to uh, do your profit uh, margins. This is a Rab ladies jacket. The jacket itself, I don't remember the exact name on. I think it'll probably... It's a Vida. V-I-D-D-A. There you go. 
Um, and once again, as most people know, if you just search the labels, flip them over, you usually find the name of a specific jacket when it comes to kind of more um, outdoor wear, I guess. I mean, yeah. it, generally clothing, you, you do find that with more mass-produced stuff, but specifically outdoor wear, I think it's check easy your zips, to find. Check guys. <laughs> Always check the zips. I, do you know, Is that I do, what you're doing? I'm just, I'm just thinking now. Yeah, I am, but I did that without even thinking. That's so cute. You're such a little cute person. Mm. Um, this is... I agree. This has some... Well, I don't know what it is. It's called Event, and it's like a it, water... Co- it's water... It's water... Water... Proof yeah. coating thing. Exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. I don't wear. I don't wear. You, you remembered. Um, this one was how much? Nine pound uh, fifty. Nine pound fifty. Um, you, you have see? to bear with us with these because I don't know if you noticed, but we're not waterproof wearers. So this, you Wait, know, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big walker per se. No, I, I I'm not a fan of the outdoors. In or fact. walking. <laughs> if I can drive there, that's pretty much what you'll find me doing. So this one, I seem to be the going list in price was between sixty five, and there was one as high as one hundred and twenty five, but they were specialists in outdoor stuff, so they had a lot of rab. Yeah, they, it was, it, in fact, the whole thing was outdoor stuff. So, but the going. Soul comp seem to be around 65 on bids. So I have listed for, have I listed? I haven't listed yet. It's going live today. But I've listed it for 75. Um, I actually say one of the main reasons I picked this up, because we see a lot of walking stuff, um, is not only, obviously, I'm aware of the brand, and the brand's obviously a, a quality, but a more expensive brand, new, but also is because it was kind of really clean and nice condition. Yeah. Like a lot of these, I think they're kind of, they're, they're worn till they're dead. That's the whole point of it. It was you a know? good size as well. It was a size uh, 16 women's, which is um, the average size of a UK woman living today. Um, so it's a good size. Is that fact? That is an actual fact. That's interesting. Yes. I, I, I've heard someone quote 12 before now, and I think they're, they're totally lying. correct. Yeah, they are. They're lying. Um, no, they're not lying. It's just that the fact is that 16 is the average size of a woman in the UK, and I'm not arguing about it. I mean, check Google. It might change. I, I'm not up with the, down with the kids, So basically you're you saying, I'm right, and if Google's wrong, they're yes. wrong. Yeah? I, just been, um, I just wanted to leave this clip in to show what a good person I am. Why Austin was paying, I decided I was going to pick up all the things that have fallen on the floor. I thought that was a nice thing to do. Um, June behind the till didn't care. Couldn't care less. And do you know the mad thing was, which I was thinking about now with June, is I clocked that, you'd, yeah, that there was something on the floor before uh, before I started paying. Yeah. And I, as, I was, as I was giving her the item. And she was, she'd was she been stood there for about five minutes, staring on the floor. She knew it was there. I know. June was aware. And she watched you every second of you picking it up. I did June a solid. And June... Can... You're, you're good peeps. Yeah, you good are. Piece, you good piece. And, she, and she didn't appreciate it. So this last time I'm up on June. Well, anyway. here's number two done. <laughs> number two. See if we can get to number three. I'm taking bets now that we're not going to get there. Quite um, f- <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> there's. <laughs> the odds are really good. If you want to send any money to um, at the luxury pickers on PayPal, we'll add you into the bets. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I think gambling online is illegal unless you're like you're like registered. So no, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't bet on us. This is a joke. <laughs> Bye.